Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I would like to introduce our brand new plugin, the Divi Social Sharing Buttons. Let's take a look at what this plugin is, how you can use this module, and all of the customization and design features that we have included. Let's get started. So first of all, did you know that Divi does not even have any social sharing module? You may be thinking of Monarch, but Monarch has a ton of issues and it does not integrate well with Divi. There's not even any short codes, anything like that, and customization like we expect from a Divi module. So we are very excited to introduce the Divi social sharing buttons module. And we are going to show you quickly what is available in this plugin and all of the features and customization options that it has. It has lots and lots of options. You can add it to any post or post type. We recommend adding it to a theme builder template, like you could put it on a blog post template or a WooCommerce product page template and have it you know, below the product or below the blog or on top or anything like that. It's just perfect for that. You can create the module really quickly. Here's how it would look by default with four of the default layouts. So we have icon left, text right, icon top, text bottom, just the icon and then just text. And of course, everything is customizable, and I mean everything. So it's really simple, and you can change how many columns of these you want on you know, desktop, tablet, and mobile, and things like that. Let's take a real quick look at the demo site. Now the demo is kind of hard to make because there's so many possibilities and options, but here it is. You can see that this is default. You can see the icon left, text right, and that's how it would look with you know four columns on desktop then you can change that. You, you definitely would want to change it to like two for tablet, one for phone, that type of thing. And here you can see with the icon top, text bottom, everything you can, you could align the text left or right. Same here. Um, the icons that when you just have the icon shown, you can align the icon group in the middle or to the right as well. And then the text, just the text, you can have left, right, or center. And again, a background color, the font, everything is customizable. You can actually change what it says here. See how it says share on Facebook? You can change that to anything you want. You can literally type in, like if you wanted to have more space, you could just say Facebook or Twitter, or you could say share this product or um, share this post with friends. You know, you could, you could literally write whatever you want to say in there. So that's really exciting. Here I'm just showing you some examples with stuff that's rounded, rounded corners on the outside of the buttons. And then, you know, really rounded. And then rounded with the inside icon rounded as well. Here it's like with the outer square, but then a little bit rounded on the icon. And here it's completely round icons. And, you know, you can kind of get the idea of the rounded outside. I'm just showing you like all the different things. Here it's both of them totally rounded. And it's the same thing down through. And also spacing, you can adjust the spacing, the font size of the icon. You can make the icons bigger or smaller. I'll jump into the settings here in just a second. Here you can see the different possibilities, even with icons um, and the text. All right, let's jump into the actual builder. All right, once you add the module to the page, you'll get this default layout. And then we'll just go and look at the settings really quick. Here you can choose any network you want. Now we have eight included so far. You can let us know what additional ones we should add, but basically when you click on the add button, you would get the option here to choose which network you want from the list. And then over in the design tab, you have layout where you can choose the different layouts that I've been mentioning, like icon top, text bottom, and then you can switch it to just the icon like that. And of course you can change the alignment. That might be helpful when, where you put it on your, like a, on your blog post template or something and then just the text, no icon. So there's lots of design settings. So here's under icon. You can obviously, you know, change the color. It's, it's white obviously by default because of the background. The background colors of the, of the social networks are set. We already have them set, but you can override them of course. Here you can change the actual icon size. So you could change this here like that. Um, you know, anything around the, the icon. And then we have in the under spacing down here, we have different things like icon padding. So that's, that's this padding around here. But then there's also, you know, the space that's between the buttons. So like, 
um, between them, you know, you can see where it's changing there like that. And then of course, you know, spacing bottom as well like that. So you can space them out, but then there's button padding. Button padding would be around the inside of the entire button. So you, if you wanted to have like, you know, the icon be inside like that a little more, you could do something like that. So we have lots of settings uh, up here under share text. You can adjust, you know, everything about the, the text, you know, all the normal font settings that you would expect. And then, like I was saying, you can actually change which, like the custom text. So if I want to just say Facebook here, you can change that right there to whatever custom text you want. And that's based on the individual module. And then probably one of the biggest things in my opinion, well, of course, borders and all that, but you can change the, the number of columns here. So right now I have it set to four. You could change that, you know, two, and of course per device, you could, you could set it. And then I would think like even on phone, you'd want it to be one because, you know, it, it just physically, <laughs> physically. Now, if you're using the icons, just the icon only, then it kind of self adjusts depending on how big you make the icons. See that, how it like self adjusts here. Watch this. See like that. So really there's just anything that you can think to design is possible in this original version. So really hope that you guys like this. Again, put this on your pages and post types. You know, basically I'm thinking the theme builder is the best place that you could put it in your footer. You could add it to a page, just depends what it is, what you're trying to promote to share and then you know choose whichever networks you want to use so then of course the sharing aspect of it if you click on any of the buttons it will open up the platform specific sharing dialog box so here i clicked on the facebook one and we're getting you know the, where i can write here and you know make a post whether on my news feed or group or whatever um you know it's it's the same for for all of these different ones depending you know if you like Reddit, you would have to be logged in, or Facebook, I guess, too. Any of them, you'd have to be logged in, but there you go. You get the normal box like this. I can go ahead and tweet that. Um, and yeah, share the page, share the post, whatever it is, share any content. And this obviously is good for you, good for SEO, good for your site. We have full documentation here over in, you know, we have that linked. We always have, you know, everything related to the plugin, how to use it, how to set it up frequently asked questions, the change log, the roadmap, and our demos. So, and then we have the full list of all the features. I'll show you that real quick. We actually do this for all of our plugins. We make a document that lists uh, everything that's included and then the help text, which goes along with every setting. So you can see the screenshots and then see every little setting and what it does. And we do have an FAQ page. So you can read this, you know, we update this based on, you know, frequent questions that we get. There's what I think about Monarch. <laughs> um, different questions, we'll update that as we go. And of course, we'll update the roadmap as we think of new features and the change log will always be up to date as well. So there you go. If you're interested, head on over to the product page, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. And I hope you guys enjoy this new module. We are really excited about this new social sharing module and we hope you are too. Be sure to check out the demos there to see what all is possible. And of course, always be sure to reference the documentation where we have everything you need to know about using the plugin. Let us know if you have any questions or need anything. And we really hope that you enjoy using this new plugin.